Thanks for joining us here at Functional Bliss, where Audra and Jessica will guide you through exercises and wellness techniques to help you live your best life every day. It's in the name after all, Functional Bliss. Before you do anything else, click like and subscribe and ring the bell so you'll know whenever we put up a new video. To join our Blissful Gang for live Zoom classes where you can get more direct suggestions and encouragement, go to our website and sign up. Check the class description below for any equipment needs, grab your gear, and let's get started. All right, so we are going to start in a seated position. We're going to stay in a seated position for our practice today, and we will use a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, if you're working from the YouTube later, um, a book or even a stack of throw pillows, we want to, we would do want to attempt today, depending on your hip flexors, we are going to try to get a little height. So just, you know, think something that's, I don't know, a little over six inches, eight inches, eight inches, something that's tall. All right, but to start, put your block on the lowest setting. We're gonna put our feet up on our block and then scoot your butt way back in your chair. So it's just gonna kind of change your seated shape just a little bit. Notice how that feels. If it's super uncomfortable or causes any sort of pain or anything that's not right in your body, move the block out of the way. But if it feels okay to be there, let your feet find a restful position. And then once you're there, close your eyes down, soften your shoulders, soften into your breath. As you take a moment here to just settle into the back of your chair, see if you can allow your body weight to lean just a little bit further. So if you're holding up or supporting in any way, can you, without injuring yourself or doing anything that would create more discomfort, can you lean back, get super heavy into the back of the chair, almost to the point where you feel like you're pressing your back into the chair so that you can feel that idea of compression and then can you breathe in a nice full breath, breathing into the rib cage and feel the back of the chair against your back? Keep your body weight back, but now see if you can just tune in and notice the breath in your armpits or the side of your rib cage. Keep your back nice and heavy against the back of the chair and then see if you can tune in and notice your movement of breath in the front of your heart space. Keep your weight heavy into the back of the chair, but now you're going to think about breathing into the rib cage, front to back, side to side. So it's a nice four part breath, breathing in, opening and expanding through the rib cage, exhaling and drawing the ribs in. Take one more nice expansive breath. On your next in breath, gather your hands together at heart center and onto the mudra. So prayer hands together at the heart, bring your thumbs right up against your sternum. Keep the hands there, a little pressure between the palms if that feels good or a looseness. That'll just be whatever feels more nice and energetic to you. And then once you've got your hands in a good position, Lean back a little heavy into the back of your chair, thumbs to your sternum, take a nice full breath in, breathe into your rib cage. And a nice slow breath out. Two more cycles of breath. Relax any places where you may be putting a little intentional pressure, whether that's your back against the back of the chair or the pressure between your palms. Soften everything just a little bit and then set an intention here to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice. Never doing anything that would cause your body pain, 
and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. With that intention set, we're gonna keep our hands in that Anjali Mudra, so prayer hands are gonna to stay together, but loose or pressing together, that'll be totally up to you, but keep that little bit of an intentional touch of your hand space. And then you're just gonna start by wiggling your toes, wiggling your ankles, wiggling your feet, just a little bit so you feel the texture of the block underneath your feet, or if you're wearing socks, maybe you'll notice the texture of your socks moving in conjunction with the block underneath your feet. And then once you've wiggled your feet just a little bit, we're gonna keep our hands in that prayer position. And now we're gonna just start to step one foot off the block and then the other. So it's not gonna be like a big amount of movement. <clears throat> it's maybe about three inches out to the side and then lowering down. But so notice that just that little bit of light, gentle movement, we're gonna to start to just create a little bit of gentle heat in the legs. So tap one foot, then the other, find a nice little rhythm. And once you've got that going on, if you've been looking at your block to see where it is, now can you either gaze forward or close your eyes down and then just tune into that idea of proprioception. Where is your body connected to the space that you're working in? Can you cleanly and efficiently pick the foot up, step it down and back on? without scraping the toes, without scraping your instep, without clipping the block accidentally. And there's no right or wrong if you can't, but just we wanna to start to see if we can sense where our body moves in space. Take one more time each foot or even yourself out. And then from here, we're gonna step, step both feet off of our block, release your hands, sit up nice and tall, and now we're gonna spin the block around so that it's going long ways. So we're still gonna keep it on that low setting, but we just wanna place it right between our feet. And then once you've got the block in place, start to walk your butt forward just a little bit. So your butt's nice and centered on your chair, you're sitting up nice and tall, and we're gonna just move right into some light little TikToks of the head, just dropping ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. One more time each side, and then we're gonna take it into some turns of the head. So look over one shoulder and then the other. The next time your head turns to the right, stay there. You're gonna hold that head position, but now look your eyes as far to the left as you can. So feel a little bit of tension in your eyes as you look. So it's a nice hard stare. Look and hold that intentional gaze. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Relax your eyes. Turn your head all the way over to the other side. Once you've got your head turned, look your eyes in the opposite direction. So head is turned to the left, eyes look to the right. Hold that nice strong position. So a little bit of tension in the eyes and hold that position, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Release your eyes, return your head to center. Take a couple little shrugs of the shoulders. And then roll the shoulders down and back, keep the shoulders down and back. And now we're gonna bring our awareness down to our feet. So walk your feet in so you feel that the insides of your feet are really hugged up, nice and tight up against your block. And then we're gonna see if we can keep that little bit of pressure in between the feet and then start to just do those little tibialis raises. So we're gonna feel the front shin muscles get activated, almost as if you're trying to pick the block up. And my block is moving, so I'm keeping a little bit of a squeeze on the block lifting my toes and the balls of the feet and taking the block with. Nice, take one more raise and then lower your feet down, relax your thigh muscles, let your hands come down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. One more time here, inhale, arms up, look up. 
Exhale, hands to heart center, left hand's gonna touch down to the chair, right hand's gonna reach back up alongside your ear and then take it right into a little side bend and then lift yourself right back up and out. Lean over into that little side bend. Come back up nice and strong and then check in for a moment here. One more time, side bend. Notice your inner thighs. Can you keep your inner thighs slightly engaged? And now we're gonna take that side bend nice and big or as far as feels good to you. Going nice and deep into that side bend, keep a little connection of your feet between the block, a little bit of lighting up of those inner thigh muscles. And now one more breath in this side bend here. Can you turn your head, look upward towards the ceiling, take another breath here. Nice, and then with control, lift up and out and switch right over to the other side. Right hand's gonna touch down, left hand's gonna reach up, lean over a little bit, come back up. Keep a little squeeze of your feet connected to that block. Keep your inner thighs engaged. Come back up, do that one more time, lean over. Come right back up and then adjust anything that you need to, but this time we're taking it just a little bit deeper or a little further. So leaning into it a little bit more, holding there, taking a breath. And then see how it feels to turn your head and look upward. Nice, lift up nice and slow and controlled. We're gonna keep that block between the feet, keep that little bit of space between the knees. Right hand's gonna find the left knee, left hand behind you or low side of the chair, just whatever handhold works good for the chair that you're working in. Take one more breath. And then as you release, we're gonna take that twist all the way over to the other side. So find your other knee, find the handhold that works good on this side of your chair. Nice, and then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully return back to center, finding your seated mountain pose. So a little bit of gentle press down into your feet so you feel like your thigh muscles kick on just a little bit. Get super tall here. And then check your head and your heart. If there's a slight leaning forward, can you bring it back so your head, your heart, and your hips are all in line? And then once you've got that, inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Lift your heart as you dive forward. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. Pull the abdominal muscles in. Roll on up. Roll your shoulders all the way up to the ears. Roll them around, down, and back. Let your hands come out at your sides. Nice. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, pull the abdominal muscles in, roll up, roll the shoulders up to the ears, around, down and back. One more time through just like that. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, pull the abdominal muscles in, roll on up. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, around, down, and back. Nice. And find your mountain pose again. And now we're going to go a little further with that flow. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, soften down. Right hand to the left shin. Left hand reaches up to the sky. Release that hand down. We're going to slide up the shin, bring the knee up towards the chest, a light little squeeze, and then right away, release that foot down, come back to your mountain pose and feel that little bit of pressure between the two feet. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, left hand over to the right shin, right hand reaches up. Release that hand down, slide up the shin, bring the knee up to the chest, a light little squeeze. And then right away, release that foot down, feet come together for that light little squeeze against the block. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, right hand over to the left shin, left hand reaches up. Release that hand down, slide up the shin, bring the knee up to the chest. This time, bring your nose towards your knee. And release back to your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, left hand over to the right shin, right hand reaches up. Release that hand down, slide up the shin, bring the knee up to the chest, bring your nose to your knee. 
release back to your mountain pose. We're gonna go a little bit further with that flow. So inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, right hand to the left shin, left hand reaches up. Release that hand down to the shin, bring the knee up to the chest, bring your nose to your knee. Hang on to your knee, but release your nose from your knee. And now we're gonna swing that leg out to the side and then bring it right back in. Swing the leg out to the side, bring it back in. Swing it out to the side and then lift it up just a little bit higher towards the shoulder just to create a little space. Notice how your hip feels and then gently release it back down to the ground. Find that little spacing so your feet are connected to the block. Find your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, left hand over to the right shin. The right hand reaches up. Release that hand down, slide up the shin, bring the knee up to the chest, bring your nose to your knee. Hang on to your knee, but lift your nose up and then swing that leg out just a little bit and bring it back in. Swing it up just a little bit, bring it back in. Swing it out, bring it back in. And this time swing it out and lift it up just a little bit higher, make a little space in the hip. Nice, and then slowly, gently, softly release that foot down. Now we're gonna reach down, pick up your block. We're gonna take the block to the tall setting and we're gonna angle it out. So think where the legs of your chair are, find that angle there, and then you'll make adjustments just depending on how your legs like to do. So what we're gonna try to attempt is to stay in a nice tall position, and then we're gonna pick our leg up and try to find those big hops over our block. Now, if that looks like a height that is just too extreme for you, maybe you'll set it on the medium setting or you'll go on the low setting or you'll leave the block off entirely and just try to find a little bit of movement in the hip. So you'll find the depth of work that makes the most sense to you. But for me, tall setting of the block, hopping my leg over, you'll move your hand out of the way wherever it needs to be so that you can get as much movement. We're gonna create a little bit of strength and heat in that hip flexor muscle. So only move to a depth that makes the most sense. But then once you've got that going on, can you close your eyes down, tuning into that proprioception? Where is your body connected to the space that you're working in? One or two more hops over and keep going as I talk you through this. If you can, keep your eyes closed and then you're gonna see if you can, with control, gently land your foot on top of your block without looking at the block and then see if you can find your foot fall on the block. And then once you've got your foot on the block and don't worry if you miss or knocked it over, just take a second to set everything back up. And then once your foot is on the block, make sure this feels like a comfortable height. And now we're gonna go, so we've got this little half malasana situation going on, or half garland pose. We're gonna take our hand to the inside. So think back of the arm to the inner thigh, push against it just a little bit. Keep your leg nice and solid, wedge the back of your arm so we get that little bit of rotation. And then take your other hand, reach up and take, like you're taking a little bit of a side bend, reach your arm up. So we've got some rotation, we've got some opening up through the hip, take a nice big breath in. Slow breath out. Release that upper hand. Take a moment just to notice that little bit of pressure of your arm against your thigh. And then when you're ready, lift up and out, grab the back of your thigh, pick that leg up, set it down, pick up your block, pass it over to the other side. Once you've got your block on the other side, and then keep in mind, one side might be very different than the other. So one side, it might've felt really good to have some height and then one side might feel. So make sure you honor each side of your body in the way that makes the most sense. Take a couple of hops over, getting building up strength in that hip flexor muscle, a little bit of mobility in the hip, bringing a little heat to those muscles. So take a few more times, jumping over that block. Eyes forward or start to close your eyes down so you can clear that block without looking at it. And then if you've got your eyes closed or your gaze forward, now can you land your foot on the top of the block? Once you've got your foot landed, open your eyes, or if you knocked your block over, go ahead and reset yourself. Once you've got your foot in a way that works good for you, if the tall setting needs to be reset, do what you need to do. Take your hand to the inner thigh, down towards that foot or the arch of your foot, arm against the inner thigh, 
butt up against it so you get a little bit of pressure, bottom ribs pull forward, top hand reaches up. Take one more breath, release your hand, pause for a moment and notice, and then lift up nice and slow and controlled. Grab the back of the thigh, help your leg come off, and then once both legs are off, give everything a little swish. We're gonna bring that block now to the middle again, but we're gonna try to keep it on that tall setting. So place it so that it will fit really nicely underneath your left foot. So that's what we're gonna shoot for. Nice tall setting, the tallest that feels good to you. Place your foot on, and now we're gonna come forward like we're resting our belly and our chest against the thigh. So come forward, but then once you've got that forward position, we're gonna take our hand to the back of the body. So you're gonna make a little fist, and you're gonna to start to rub some circles at that low back area. So keep your foot planted on the block, lean your heart forward, the hand that, of the leg that's on, that's the hand that's gonna do the work. So you're gonna lean forward and, and make it vigorous. Almost you wanna imagine that you're doing that Vicks Vapor Rub sensation, right? You're bringing a little heat or blood flow to the surface of the body. So get in there and do a little bit of work. Take a couple more circles around and then if it feels okay to do so, you're gonna do light little taps, like you're knocking on the door. So just tap, tap, tap at the back of your body. You can move it around or you can stay in one place. Just make sure you keep your shoulder happy. One more little tap, 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 tap. And then we're gonna release that hand so it can touch your foot or your shin wherever. And then just soften for a moment. You can tuck your chin down. You can rest your chin on your knee, wherever you feel the most comfortable. But see if you can just take a breath and feel some expansive breath in the back of your body. Take one more breath, come up nice and slow and controlled, help step that foot off. And now we're gonna just pass the block over to the other side where your other foot would step on really nicely. So we do wanna keep sort of that alignment of the heel, the knee and the hip all in that nice line. So once you've got your way there, <clears throat> make sure that feels good. Lean forward just a little bit. Now take that hand and we're gonna to start to draw some circles at that low back area. Get a little bit of heat going on. So you wanna create a little bit of friction. I mean, don't injure yourself, but we wanna bring a little blood to the surface. Take a few more circles around and then when you're ready, do those light little taps. One more light little tap and then release that hand. Just let your hand rest on your foot. Let your belly and chest rest on your thigh. Let your chin tuck down. And then just see if you can breathe into the back of your body. Take one more breath. When you're ready, come up nice and slow and controlled. Help lift that leg off, set your foot onto the ground, grab your block. We're gonna take the block and pass it over to the left side. It's gonna be on the tall setting and then just set it there and then find your seated mountain pose again. Feet anchored into the floor, arms out at your side. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, right hand over to the left shin, left hand reaches for a twist. Release that hand down, slide up the shin, bring the knee up to the chest, bring your nose to your knee. Release that back down to the ground, but now we're gonna take our left hand, plant it on your block. Other hand is gonna reach up, take a little bit of a side bend. You lift up, we're gonna take the block with, pass it up and overhead, pass it to the other hand, take it down to the ground, and then once it's down on the ground, come back up and find your mountain pose again. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, left hand to the right shin, right hand reaches to the sky. Release that hand down, slide up the shin, bring the knee to the chest, bring your nose to your knee. Release that foot back down to the ground. Right hand's gonna reach down, finding the block. And then once you found your block, take a nice big side bend. 
lift everything up, take that block with you, pass it up and overhead, and then we're gonna put a little pressure between the blocks. So palms on the block, press in like you're trying to crush the block, keep that pressure, lower your arms down like you're bringing that block to just rest on your knees, keep that pressure on, raise your arms up and overhead. Keep that pressure on, lower your hands down. Keep that pressure on, raise your arms up and overhead. Keep that pressure on, toe heel your feet out just a little bit, bring the block down, and now we're gonna place the block down on the ground at the lowest setting. So nice and wide, low setting, place your block down on the ground, come up nice and slow, and now we're gonna start to walk our butt back into our chair, and then you'll take the block with you so that you're gonna go one foot on the block, and then the other foot's gonna come into your figure four. So if it helps to get your figure four and then whoop, pop your leg up, get there in the way that makes the most sense. If that block underneath creates too much of a figure four situation for you, leave that part off. But we do want our butt kind of nice and square against the back of the chair and we want our back to be against the chair for this figure four. So once you've got your figure four set up, hand to the inner thigh, press the inner thigh open, press your back into the chair and then just take a nice big breath. One more breath. We're gonna keep our foot on our block if we can, release your hand from the inner thigh. I'm gonna go one hand inside the leg, one hand to the out so that I can just kind of scoop my hands through, but you'll go with whatever hand position makes the most sense to you. Leaning yourself forward. And then for me, when I got my hands through, I can grab my shin or the top of my knee and kind of pull my heart forward just a little bit to create a little extra length in my spine. So if that feels good, find that little extra bit of length and then soften as much into your folded shape as feels good. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. One more breath and then start to come up nice and slow. But before we lift that right leg completely off, just rotate a little bit, pull your knee towards your heart. And then relax that knee away, lift the leg up, set it down, and then you'll reset your figure four to the other side in a way that makes the most sense to you. So whether it's foot on the block and you just bring it up or do it and then set your feet on the block. So find your way there in a way that makes the most sense. Lean your back against the chair, hand to the inner thigh and push the inner thigh open just enough so you feel a little sensation and then breathe into that shape. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, release your hand from the inner thigh, sit up just a little bit, and then find the place where you can go with your hands so that it feels reasonable. I like that thread through. I'm gonna grab my shin and create a little length in the spine. Once you've got a shape that makes sense to you, lean into it as much as you can. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully come up and out of that folded position, rotate your heart slightly towards your knee, pull your knee towards your heart, take a breath. Nice, and then when you're ready, release, help lift that leg up and off. If it feels comfortable to do so, you'll leave your feet on that block so you get that slightly lifted sensation with the feet. Just changes the shape just a little bit and then lean your back as far back into your chair as you can. Find a soft landing for your feet, find a soft landing for your back and then close your eyes down or soften your gaze.
You always have the option to stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. But if you feel ready to do so, start to tune back into your physical body and just notice and feel your back connected to your chair. See if you can just breathe an expansive breath into your rib cage and feel that little bit of compression against your back. Keep your back connected to the chair, but now see if as you breathe in, can you let your shoulders lift up to your ears? And as you exhale, can you just let your shoulders melt down? One more cycle of breath. And then as your shoulders soften down, we're gonna bring the hands together and just start to fire up the palms. Bring a little heat into your palms, but keep your eyes closed if you can. Keeping your eyes closed if you can, we're gonna keep those palms rubbing together, but start to lift your back up away from the back of the chair. Keep the palms rubbing together. Lift your heart a little bit as if you're leaning forward to look over your knees, but your eyes are still closed. Lean forward just a little bit more so maybe you feel your belly starting to touch your thighs. And then once you feel like you've found that position, you, you're still engaged because you're rubbing your hands together, your eyes are still closed. Now can you soften everything? Can you reach your hands down and let your hands find your feet without opening your eyes if you can? Soften through the back of your body, soften the back of your neck and take three breaths here. Keeping your eyes closed if you can, start to walk your hands up your shins, up your knees, start to come to a more upright position. Once you're all the way up, bring your hands back together, bring a little heat and fire into your palms. Once you feel like your palms are nice and good and hot, we're just gonna gently cup them around the knees. So hands are gonna find the knees, touch the knees, eyes stay closed, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Keep that nice little handhold on your knees and like you're just massaging your knees in gentle circles. Draw your circles in one direction. And then draw your circles the other way. Lovely. And then when you're ready, release hands together, palms together, fire up your palms, keeping the eyes closed if you can. Once you feel like your hands are nice and good and hot, hands are going to find the front hip points or find your hip crease. So find hands on the hips, close your eyes down or keep them closed. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Bring the hands back together, fire up your palms, get them nice and good and hot. Once your hands are nice and getting hot, it's gonna be hands on the belly. So below the belly button, if you can find a handhold there, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Bring the hands back together, fire up your palms, get them super good and hot. Once you feel like you've got a good amount of heat in those hands, we're gonna go hands to the solar plexus. So above the belly button, but below the rib cage, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. One last time, bring the hands together, fire up those palms. As you're firing up your palms, if you can, step, step your feet off of your block. Keep those hands firing up. Walk your butt forward in your chair just a little bit so your butt is nice and centered, feet are nice and solid on the ground. Keep those hands firing up. And then once you feel like those hands are good and fired up, we're just gonna bring those prayer hands together, thumbs to sternum, bow your head to your heart. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. And breathe in a little extra love and gratitude that you can carry with you through the rest of your day and share with everyone you see.
And when you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Wednesday.